In 22.3, there's a couple of quality of life improvements to the data pane that I'm going to show you. The first one is a new shortcut to make it easier to create a measure from a dimension. So I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to hold command on Windows, it's control. So I'll go over here and you can see the ship mode item. Now, typically what you used to have to do is if you drag ship mode across, you'd see it changes it to a measure by doing a count distinct and then you drag it across. But sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you just want to create a duplicate. So what you'd have to do is uh, previously right click duplicate and then drag the copy across and then that would become the measure you do. Use. In 22.3, you don't have to do any of that. What you can actually do, if I just go back one, is if you uh, start dragging a ship mode, and then as you're dragging it, hold the command or control on Windows, and just uh, drop it over the dimensions and measures line, you'll see that it creates a copy here, ship mode copy, count distinct, and the ship mode item is still up there. So you can then drag this in, and here in the ship modes, we only have four distinct items. So that's what we're gonna see. So that's the first feature here a modifier to allow you to copy a dimension as a measure uh, just by holding control or command if you're on a Mac. Now, the next feature is a little bit more subtle. It, it doesn't appear as nicely as the animation suggests, but nonetheless, it's a nice new feature. Now, here at the very, very top, you can see I already have a folder called ship date. And why I've scrolled down is because this new feature will automatically scroll the window up so you can see that folder when you change it. So um, what I'll do here is I'll take my date to ship calculation. This should also be in the main folder because that's where I'm storing all my shipping items. I'll go ahead down here and you'll see the folders option. I can add it to the main folder. And when I do that, the data pane jumps up to where the measure is. And that is the feature. That's a feature in a nutshell. It's just simply just moving the window up so you don't have to go and scroll and fish around. Previously, it didn't do that. It didn't actually move around with the calculations. So and that's uh, that's it. That's, that's pretty much it to this video. There's not much more to show. These are really quality of life improvements. They're not features as yet. They're, they're sort of refinements to things that we've known for a long time. But I would argue this is two things that have been on that sort of uh, please do this Tableau list for a while. They're not exactly what everyone's asking for, but they're, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty much starting to address some of these small things that we've wanted for a long, long time. And I, for one, I'm grateful. These are going to be good shortcuts to teach people. So when they're using Tableau for the first time, they know the difference between these things. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't seen all the other videos in the 22.3 playlist, please do check them out. If you like this video or you're finding this whole series useful, hit like or subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. When I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to hold control on Windows. Blah, 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 blah.